All right. Hello, everyone. The worst case scenario is when our clients are not listening to us and when they are not implementing our SEO recommendations, doesn't matter from SEO audit, from SEO report, from SEO strategies, that we are putting them in front of them, <laughs> where we are putting their in front of them. So this, if you are SEO specialist, this is something that you are facing on daily basis, on hourly basis, especially if you are facing like few clients, weekly optimization, maintaining, like you do everything in your power, but actually what is happening that they are not implementing all of them or they are just implementing some of them. So you basically can't provide the value. You can get better SEO results before because they don't implement these things. So if they're not making any changes, basically nothing will be changed. And then in the end of the day and in the end of the month, they are asking you like, where are the yes, your results and why they are paying you. So this is the problem because what do you, what do you do and what is your approach? Probably you have noticed over the last few years in these situations, like what you are trying to do is actually providing more value, providing more recommendations, providing more suggestions, explaining new Google updates, what is happening in this crazy Google's world, putting so much effort to prove yourself, to prove your SEO skills, to prove your SEO work in, in regarding just like to get that doesn't matter like if it's salary or like payment in the end of the month. What makes you feel when you are doing, when you are facing this moment, when you are approaching, as I mentioned just before, and definitely uh, you are uh, uh, doing this on, on your side as well, is something so stressful on daily basis, so frustrated, proving ourselves, explaining the value, providing more and more recommendations, are so draining for us. We are wasting so much energy instead of just like refocusing that energy on something else or just like providing even like more value, like because they can implement these things. Now let's move further. Let's move about like bigger strategies, bigger goals, but bigger everything. But there is a blocker. The, the, the worst case scenario is actually that like it makes you feel so unvaluable. They are not respect you. you constantly need to prove yourself, to prove the value and how you end up. Usually you end up just like stress. You start hating that client. You start hating that website. You can't even like look at that website anymore. No screaming from, no samurai, just like, no, because like, you know that like whatever you suggest, they will not implement. And your reaction is actually like, let's put more suggestions. Let's put more recommendations. And now, you are overwhelmed. Even your client or in-house people, they are also overwhelmed because like they didn't implement like past recommendations and you are putting like more recommendations. Like they are more confused as you are because like so, so many things uh, are not resolved and you like your solution, what you are doing is actually putting more on them. So if they didn't implement like these basic things, how you think that they will implement new things, bigger things? And you end up like so frustrated, stress, you start like even hating that client or starting even hating your job. Then you're thinking maybe in another company, they have like uh, other clients, so they will be better. If you are in-house, you think that like another company will actually implement these recommendations and things, but like it's not. I'm facing like so many different clients and like, doesn't matter if you are agency, if you are in-house, if you are SEO consultant, it's the same. So what I want to do here is actually provide you a different approach, how you can reduce the stress, reduce the frustration, and just like continue to have great relationships with your clients. So basically what is the main problem here is when you are proving to them the SEO value, you're also trying to prove your value. But if you just like make the step back and see and ask yourself, is really your value, SEO val value connected with that moment why clients are not implementing these things? Because it's not that they don't want to implement. They have some blockers they why they can't implement it. So just like when you 
put yourself out of that picture. It's not about you. It's not about your value. But if they are not implementing these as your recommendations, they are taking your value. They are making you invaluable. You're not valuable as a person, as a SEO specialist, because like they are not doing what you want for them, what you want to do. So just like take a step back and see that like it's not about your value. It's not about your SEO skills. It's about some challenges that they're facing. So if we really want to step up in that games, to step up in this relationship with our client, we need to just like take that like value off and see and how we can actually help our clients. Because in the end of the day, we want to help our clients to, to get results, to get more clients, more sales, more purchases, more everything. So, but you can see this if you're just thinking like, like you need to prove yourself. It's about your value. It's about you, but it's not. So just like refocusing that mindset thing, not from yourself to actually, okay, ask client how I can help you to foc- to I- implement this or why you can't implement this. Okay. If you can't implement this as your recommendation, let's check Another way how you can get more clients, more, bigger uh, traffic, bigger like everything that you are working on. And then you are asking questions, you are communicating with your client. But in this way, you are not having that frustration like, hey, why you are not implementing these things? You want to help that client. So let's see how you can refocus your recommendations, what you can do. For example, it's not just about SEO. Let's, let's see about target audience, what they are thinking. Let's get feedback from salespeople, what kind of challenges they are facing, how you can incorporate these pain points on your landing page, how you can help your client to actually get all these information. It's not just about technical things, content things. It's about the relationship that you want from your client. Because in the end of the day, you are having all these stress and frustrations because you know that like your client will fire you if you are not putting the SEO results. But if you are develop this kind of relationship with your clients, when you are helping him, when you are consultative to him, you are him, you are his consultant. So, and there is no better relationship that you are asking your client, how I can help you, how, uh, let's see the challenges, maybe another source that is not just SEO, but uh, what I'm trying to, 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 to share with you is actually that communication, like, and truly understanding your client, what kind of challenges they are facing. And, um, and working and uh, communicating that like between each other. And like, you can say like, Hey, I really want to help you. Doesn't matter. Like if it's SEO, I can do it in another way because you and your client has, has, have the same goal, increase the revenue for the website, increase the, the brand of the website or doesn't matter company. So just feel feel when you are approaching this thing, like, okay, it's not about my value they are thinking that I'm valuable. It's not about yes, your results. It's about if I take this value off, let's see how I can help my client. And then you will feel totally different energy. You will enjoy in your conversation with your clients. Hey, you want to help him, but not just like from urge and need, like, Hey, I really want to prove as your value and my value. Just put that on the side. It's not, it's not that they are taking your value, but our brain pattern is in that way that like whenever we feel rejection, whenever we feel something that like they are not, that other team members or clients are not on the same page as us, our brain is thinking that like in that way, they are taking our value. But just check, like if they have different uh, comments, reactions, and like thoughts, are, uh, is this something that they are really taking the value from you? Or is just like, no, my value is not connected like what people will say. It's just connected like with me, how I'm feeling about myself. But very common case is actually that like feeling people are also insecure about themselves and they want to prove others that they are valuable 
but in the first glance they didn't prove themselves they're valuable. Whenever you are feeling stressed during these moments when they are not implementing these things, just like stop at the moment and like ask yourself, are they taking the value from me? Do they think that I'm not valuable if I'm not providing the SEO results? And how these SEO results are connected with your value? And how they are in, uh, connected with the challenges why our clients really can't implement some of our SEO recommendations. Because this moment is switching, you will improve your clients' relationships. When you have this approach, they would like to work with you for the rest of the life. Because you're not proving yourself, you're helping them. So I really can't explain the brain changer, the feeling changer, when you are approaching the problem in this, in this way, because you start enjoying to find solution for the client's problem, for the company problems that you're working for, you start to improve your relationships. Energy is different. They are more likely to ask more questions to get opinion from you because it's just like the energy flow is much more nicer. You're opening and improving your relationship with your clients or other team members. And in the end of the day, you are enjoying in your job and you feel that you made that impact. You feel fulfilled. And in the end of the day, that's the goal to enjoy this life. All right, so that's it for today. Uh, let me know if you would like to work on your mindset to make this switch, to work on your insecurities. We can do that on my coaching program. I will see you there on, or in the next video.